over 1 million Nigerians to have dementia by 2050. Lancet. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. People Gaza reported that Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed, was enduring a third battle with dementia and heart disease complications. Data predictions by the Lassen Public Health Project show that at least 1.4 million Nigerians will have dementia by 2050. Dementia is actually an illness that is found in old people. That is, they, 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 they tend to forget things so, so easily. A lot of things happen when you grow old. You know, it is funny that from a baby stage, you grow into an adolescent stage, you grow into um, a teenager stage, you grow into a young adult, you grow into an adult, you go into someone who now fathers a baby, you grow into that, and then gradually, gradually, you get to a point where you start going back to your baby stage and your teenager. In fact, you start behaving like a baby. Yes. And in, uh, there, there are some sickness that comes with it. That is why, I'll keep saying it, I do not understand why we want to allow people who are old, who are going back to their baby stage, to come and still rule this country when we are seeing the repercussions of the person sitting on it. Like Nigerians, why? How? People who are shouting Jagaban and Usibanjo, can, is Nigeria cost, as in, is it cost to have only people who are old? They are different countries. What are we saying? France, their president is, is not even 40 yet. Their president is not 40. Is Nigerians going, as in, what is going to happen to us if we have people who are actually healthy and competent sitting in the helm of affairs? Since I was born, Obasanjo, how many years was he? Yeradua died on sit. Good Lord, you not Did we actually sign or, well, yes, we actually signed an agreement that you're going to keep bringing out elderly people? Why is it that we're not looking towards the youth? It saddens me. There are so many sicknesses. Dementia is just one, one of many, that comes with growing old. Some people do not see clearly. Some people, they no longer hear what you have to bring your mouth very close to their ears. Some people don't see or see that except they make use of glasses. Now, we know that all these things, we know, these things are not hidden. And yet some people keep pushing old people. Why? Like, why? How? That is my own own. Yes, people, you cannot run away from it. All you have to do is to ensure you take care of your health when you're young. But there are some things that no matter, it is just a fact. Your eyes, your sight will start failing. They will fail. Your teeth, they will start. You cannot say, oh, 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 yes, no matter how you take care of your teeth, at the end of the day, it will grow brown and it will be falling off at a point when you are old. You cannot, you cannot find all you have to do is you ensure you take care of it, but you cannot rule out the possibility. You can also not rule out the possibility that your ear, do you clean, see, that is why it is very sickening and worrisome that people will know that there are actually these illnesses available. And you keep pushing the gaban. You keep pushing Usipanjo. I don't understand. They do sign an agreement not to vote people who are healthy and competent and capable. This is something we should look at and take very serious. People are pushing for turning. See, my own is at the end of the day, we want somebody who is capable. Not just capable, competent. Not just competent, who is healthy. A healthy president means a healthy country. You. It is time we start looking at it like that. A healthy president means a healthy country. We have given experience a time. Yes, let the old come out and the, what they see sitting down, we will not see, the youth will not see standing up fine we have given them chances the military have given them chances democratic have given them chance democracy have given them it is now time for the young people ha huh? let's find out what this doctor has to say the news in detail please stay with us in a report released on thursday the lancet noted that global dementia cases set to triple by 2030 unless countries address risk factors Nigeria is estimated to have 1,462,541 cases by 2050 under the country-level data spreadsheet. 
By 2050, 153 million people are expected to be living with dementia worldwide, up from 57 million in 2019, largely due to population growth and population aging, the report added. Nigerian's President Muhammad Buhari had traveled to London Hospital to treat an undisclosed ailment. Mr. Buhari's critics believe he has dementia. Anyone who wants to believe that Buhari has no dementia and that he is a picture of perfect mental and cognitive health because he does not drool during a choreographed PR show called an interview is free to do so. Stated Farouk Barugi, a professor at Kennesaw State University. He added, but it takes nothing from the truth of his progressive mental generation and his unfitness to be president of a complex developing country like Nigeria with no solid institution to withstand a dementia-plagued president. In Nigeria, a study looking at a period between 1995 to 2015 pegged the pre-relevance rate of the brain disease at 4.9%. In December 2020, People Gazette reported that Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed, was enduring a third battle with dementia and heart disease complications based on the testimony of a highly competent Supreme Court sources, familiar with a deteriorating condition. The documents covered and predicted dementia prevalence in 195 countries and territories, analyzing the impact of expected trends in exposure to four important risk factors, smoking, obesity, high blood sugar, and low education. The forecast states that through dementia, cases will rise in every country. The highest increases will be in North Africa, and the Middle East, with a 367% rise in cases and a 357% increase in Eastern Sub-Saharan Africa. It notes the smallest increases in cases is the, in the high-income Asia-Pacific at 53% and Western Europe with 74%. Countries with the highest percentage change in the total number of dementia cases between 2019 and 2015 include Qatar, the UAE, Bahrain, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Iraq, the Maldives, Jordan, and Equatorial Guinea. Countries with a lower percentage change in the total number of dementia cases in the same review period include Japan, Bulgaria, Serbia, Lithuania, Greece, Latvia, Croatia, Ukraine, Italy, and Finland. Contributors to the report added that a while Improved access to education could lead to 6 million fewer cases of dementia worldwide. By 2050, it could be thrown off by the projected 7 million additional dementia cases linked to the projected rates of obesity, high blood sugar, and smoking. Okay, we've come to the end of the news and we say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.